9. In all of the sutras expounded by the Buddha, he first draws distinctions between various kinds of dharmas, and then only later explains the principle of emptiness. The Zen meditation tradition handed down from the patriarchs teaches, however, that when all traces of thinking are cut off, the principle of emptiness appears clearly of itself as the very origin of mind. Commentary The Buddha is a teacher for all generations, so his teaching on the principle of emptiness is as complete and meticulous as is possible to communicate. On the other hand, patriarchs awaken others to liberation directly, so their teachings are primarily focused on attaining sudden enlightenment. The term traces refers to the patriarch's words, and thinking refers to the thinking of the student. Gatha Contort your body as you may, and yet still you cannot bend your arm backward at the elbow. 10. The Buddha spoke like a bow, while the patriarchs spoke like its string. He taught a no-hindrance dharma that returns to the one taste, sometimes called substance. When even the traces of this one taste disappear, the one mind taught by the patriarchs appears clearly. For this reason, it is said that the Huadu of the pine tree in the garden cannot be found even in the sutras of the dragon palace under the sea. Commentary Speaking like a bow has the sense of bending, while speaking like its string indicates straightforwardness and directness, or tautness. The sutras of the dragon palace under the sea refers to the vast collection of the 80,000 sutras accumulated over the ages. A monk asked Zen master Chao Cho what is the meaning of bodhidharmas coming from the west. Chao Cho replied, the pine tree in the courtyard. This is often called a Zen teaching beyond any fixed forms. Gatha. When fish swim, the water turns murky. When birds fly, feathers flutter down.